If money is no obstacle, and all you want to do is game at the highest fidelity possible with the highest performance, this is the graphic card that you want. Hello everybody, I'm Han, we are Azio Online, and today we'll be talking about the RTX 3090 Ti Hall of Fame from Galax. Now the Hall of Fame graphic card has always been the flagship series of graphic card for the Galax brand, and this is no exception. And of course the Hall of Fame cards all began from the GTX 970 series of graphic card, a little fun fact for you. So let's begin this review starting with the appearance and aesthetic of this graphic card. Like all Hall of Fame cards before the 3090 Ti, it will be in the color white with the Hall of Fame logo etched at the side. And, well, it looks pretty sleek if I do say so myself. The graphic card comes with RGB as well with the Hall of Fame word at the side having the RGB effect as well as the middle fan. All of these will be controllable through the Galax Hall of Fame or HOF AI software there's also a 3-pin 5 volt ARGB connector that you can use to sync up your graphic card with the motherboard if you prefer to control the RGB slash ARGB that way through the motherboard. Now the Hall of Fame comes with three fans and Galax dubs this fan as their wing fans design. Each fan actually has 11 blades to them and their sizes are 102mm for the top and bottom fan and 92mm for the middle fan, so slightly smaller on the middle. Now these fans of course will also feature the newer 0 RPM fan mode that a lot of new cars nowadays has to ensure quiet operation if you're not using the graphic card for say something intense like gaming or even watching uh, Ultra HD video footages. So yeah. So with it being a triple fan card, the length of it is on the longer side with it measuring at 352mm in length, 160mm in width and 68mm in height slash thickness. So it is rather a thick card. So make sure that uh, the casing you'll be getting will fit this card as well. Most ATX casings should fit this graphic card without much problem like the one we used for this review. However, do take note that even though if your casing does fit it, it will likely block uh, the bottom two of your PCIe slot from your motherboard. So something to consider there if you're planning to get this GPU. The thicker size of the GPU does allow it to have a thicker heat sink and should ensure that the 3090 Ti chip temperature to be low even after a long gaming session, which of course will be showing later with our benchmark as well. In terms of the back, we can see that it has bigger ventilation holes compared to most graphic cards and according to Galax, this will further help with the temps of the GPU. So continuing from the back for this graphic card, we have the standard ports for the RTX 3090 Ti with three DisplayPort 1.4a as well as one HDMI 2.1. You also get a special button for the hyper boost feature of this graphic card. That is right here. Power! Moving on to the other things that's included with the graphic card. Of course, we have to start off with the Hof Panel 3. It's a small 4.3 inch TFT LCD display that can be customized around to display the graphic card's current status. Something similar to hardware monitor. Or to put cute on cuter things like a dedicated image or your favorite GIF or GIF. The display comes with a built-in kickstand as well to allow it to stand on its own. Or you can of course attach it magnetically to the side of the graphic card. The display has two options to be connected to your PC with either a normal USB 2.0 or an internal USB header. Other than that, a pair of Hall of Fame gloves is also included. A graphic card stand is also provided to prevent any GPU sacks for such a thick or heavy card. And of course, you get two 12-pin ATX 3.0 to 3-pin PCIe cable to allow you to power the graphic card even with your ATX 2.0 power supplies. Now let's get into the specification of the graphic card. The 3090 Ti comes with 10,752 CUDA cores, a boost clock of 1920 MHz, and a one-click OC clock button 
to allow it to clock up to 1935 megahertz after installing the Extreme Tuner Plus software and using the one-click OC function. For the memory, the 3090 Ti will be running on the GDDR6X. It will have 24 gigs of VRAM capacity with a memory interface of 384 bit with a memory speed of 21 gigabits per second and a memory bandwidth of 1008 gigabytes per second. Now, Galax also recommends a minimum of 1000 watts for the 3090 Ti. So make sure you're packing enough power if you're opting for this graphic card. Now, what does all this translate to the world of gaming? Well, we did a few benchmarks for all of the newer AAA game that's quite popular at the moment. And here are the results that we have compiled. All the tests are run at 2K resolution with RTX off and on both being done and will be displayed through the slides in the next moment. And all of the tests are done through performance mode of this graphic cards BIOS. So let's see how it fares. And those were the benchmark results for the 3090 Ti Hall of Fame. What did you think? For us, it's certainly very impressive considering that all of the game run at at least 60 FPS on average, most of the time going above around 100 FPS on average, even with RTX on. Another very impressive thing to see is that the temps hovered around the high 70s or the low 80s only. And considering that how power hungry this car is, it's certainly a very impressive result. Now, who do we think this GPU is for? Well, we believe that it's for the gamers that enjoy playing the latest AAA games releases and also want to play them at the highest setting slash fidelity as well as the highest performance slash FPS without any compromises. That means without having to choose either one. Given the choice, the display shouldn't be anything less than a 2K display with 165Hz for this graphic card, such as this Galax Vivance we use for the review. Or better yet, a 4K display with 144Hz if that option is available to really take advantage of this graphic card. And that's all from us today. So this is our review of the RTX 3090 Hall of Fame from Galax. Certainly a very impressive card. And 
Tell us, what do you think? Will you be keeping an eye out and putting this on your purchase buying list radar? And we would also like to give a special thanks to Galax Malaysia for giving a chance for us to try such a beast of a graphic card. And that's all. We hope you like, share, subscribe, all those things, follow us on our respective social media. And hope to see you next time. Bye and stay safe.